G'day guys and welcome to the channel. Well, today we're going to use the cast iron cookware to cook an Aussie beef stew. I tell you what, it's pretty exciting around here at the moment. It's like bloody Christmas in October. I've just been to see me mates at Atherton Gas and Camping to buy myself a new nine and a half quart camp oven, Dutch oven, whatever you want to call it. So let's rip it open and see what we've got. Alrighty. Now, considering you only buy this stuff once, once in a lifetime, and if you look after it, it's going to be with you right to the other end. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's cheap. All right, so for starters, we've got the Austrail nine and a half quart Dutch oven. So, here we go. Look at this bad boy. How beautiful is that? How rustic. <laughs> okay, now, I was talking to the friendly people there at Atherton Gas and Camping and uh, they were saying this bad boy comes already pre-seasoned so all you have to do is wash it out with some hot water and you're good to go. Alright, so nine and a half quart Dutch oven, got me little lid grabber which works just like that. Finally, the tripod. So, let's have a look at this bad boy. Now the good thing about this tripod is it screws together so that it comes in a small bag like this, but then when you screw it together, it's a good size tripod for hanging your cooking pot on. Right, let's see what we got. Alright. How cool is this? Alright, I'll get back to you once I've assembled this belt. Alrighty guys, well, it only took me two minutes to screw these legs together. They're good and stable. So, Let's, let's have a look at what we got. We got the tripod for $49. We got the nine and a half quart um, Dutch oven for $69. And we got a little lid grabby. Which works just like this. So lift your lid up. And that was 10 bucks. So, what are we into it for? 70, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 100, 128 bucks. And this stuff will last you for a lifetime. So, thumbs up from me. Good on your Austral. And good on your Athen Gas and Camping. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to stick this out on over the fireplace at the back. At Kookaburra, Camp Kookaburra. And uh, we're going to cook a good old Aussie stew. Righto. Right here guys, got the A-frame set up, got the chain set at the height I want and I've washed out the uh, cook pot and I've got it heating up, well actually it's already hot, sitting on the side of the fire. So let's get stuck into making this stew. Okay, so what you want to do is chuck in a splash of oil into your hot cook pot, like so. What we want to do is we want to brown off the meat before we add everything else. So, grab yourself, I've got about 650 grams of diced up beef. Because why chop it up if you don't have to? <laughs> Chuck it in here. And what we do is we 
we'll just chuck a little bit of flour in there. And swizzle it up. Just to give that meat a little coating of flour. Don't have to be too fancy. Right. That oil's nice and hot. Okay. So, in with the meat. Just give that meat a couple of minutes to brown off. Now, the veggies I've got is shallots, which I grow in the garden, coarsely chopped up onion, coarsely chopped up potatoes. Same thing again with your pumpkin. I love pumpkin. And somewhere in here, some sweet buck, or sweet potato. So, now we season the stew. Now this particular, you can put in whatever you want, but this is the brew that my missus, the lovely Elise, likes the most, so that's what we're going to use. So first of all, turmeric. Oh, stroop, it just blew away. In with some turmeric, call it a teaspoon. Salt. Call it two teaspoons, pepper, geez, it's getting a bit windy out here today, pepper, next one is garlic pepper, which we use a lot of, don't be shy, chuck it in. Now this isn't a curry stew, but we're going to put in two teaspoons of good old Aussie Keens curry. And by only putting in two teaspoons, it's not going to be a curry, but it's just going to give it that nice taste. So, one teaspoon, two teaspoons. Alrighty. Give it a stir around. Ooh, that smells good already. Give you a bit of a look at what that looks like. Would you look at that, eh? good thing about this cast iron cookware is it holds the heat you know you pull it off the heat for a bit and this stuff's thick stays hot all right now I reckon that meat's browned off enough so in with the veggies Ooh -wee, that smells good already yeah veggies are in. I'm going to go with three cups of water. Now I don't like a runny stew so I'll, I'll just put in, I'm not going to cover the veggies, I'm just going to put me three cups in. One, two, oh yeah, that's about three cups. Give it a stir. Oh, Struth. Oh, we're losing it. Pulling back over here a bit. Yeah. We'll hook him up. And we'll leave it stewed for half an hour, and then I'll get back to you, and we'll have a look at it.
beautiful. <clears throat> Righto guys, we're about half an hour into it. Uh, pop the lid off, give it a stir, have a smell, and uh, see how it's coming along. Smells good. Oh yeah. Grab me spoon. Give it a bit of a stir. Now, for any of you guys that are a bit concerned that this is too close to the flames, first half an hour I like to get the flames nice and close so it heats it all up. Now what I'll do, I'm happy with that. Got a little touch more salt, I reckon. Touch more salt. Give it a bit of taste, eh? Right, I'll chuck the lid on, and then I'll knock these these uh, coals down a bit so it doesn't boil so strongly. Just knock these down. And that'll just help disperse the heat a bit. Righto. Get back to you in about 40 minutes, I reckon, and she'll probably be ready. And then we can thicken it up, and have a taste. Right out, guys. <clears throat> Stew's been simmering for another 40 minutes. Just took the lid off. Potatoes are nice and soft. Everything's cooked. Time to pull him off, chuck him over here, and thicken it up. Thicken him up, some magic rich gravy mix. Grab the water. Alrighty. Whoop, straight. Grab yourself a coffee cup. Fill it with water. And I reckon three heap dessert spoons of Maggi gravy mix. Chuck it in there. Stir it up. So there's no lumps. Chuck him in. Now what we do is fold it through. Now the gravy mix will thicken it. But as the um, as the veggies break down and get gluggy, they'll thicken it as well.
Oh yeah, that looks great. Woo wee! I'll get back here in a minute with a taste test. Rightio guys, now for the taste test. We've uh, thickened the stew. All we gotta do, have a little taste. Oh, look at that, eh? Hearty Aussie stew, beef stew. All right. I'll get back to you in two seconds when this isn't so hot. <laughs> Well, yeah, I reckon she's cool enough. So we got some damper, same recipe as I cooked in my first cast iron cooking video. And uh, let's give this bad boy a taste. Wow, <laughs> that's bloody good. Let's try the meat. Okay, that meat's nice and nice and tender, nice and soft. Tastes bloody beautiful. So what you do, grab yourself a bit of damper, dip it in there. Mm -hmm. One more little check. Straight, that'll keep you going for ages. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.